Let's start out our Warner Archive theme reviews with the fastest gun alive. Glenn Ford plays a shop owner in a small western town who harbors a secret. What's his secret? Well, he was once a gunslinger. Why does he want to keep it a secret? Well, Ford is a fast shot, and when somebody's a fast shot, people want to challenge them. While this is happening, a group of outlaws, headed by Brother Crawford, are roaming the country, looking for fast guns to take down. Will their paths cross? It's a western in the 50s, what do you think? In an era of mostly gunfights and romanticized versions of the West, it's interesting to note that a lot of the typical western conventions don't make up the majority of this film. Of course, there are shootings, standoffs, and despicable bad guys, but most of the film is dialogue. Now that may turn some viewers off, but luckily both the script and direction were helmed by Russell Rouse, the man who wrote and directed The Thief. He brings some real depth to these characters. I mean, think about it. Glenn Ford went into hiding because he was afraid, all because he knows how to draw his gun quickly. How many scared cowboys are there in classic films? Not many. On top of that, he can be a jerk sometimes. He's not a bad guy, but he has his moments. These moments make the film feel more grounded and make for a more interesting character. We get to see how such a gift can really be a curse. He feels torment from the lives he's taken and finds it difficult to mask his sorrow. I will say, I think Broderick Crawford's character is a little on the one-dimensional side, but Crawford is just so good at being malicious that you kind of forgive the film for that. Crawford's character is obsessed with holding the title Fastest Gun in the West and will stop at nothing to get it. There's a scene in here that I will admit is completely filler. There's a dance sequence with Russ Tamblin during a barn dance. It's one of those scenes I think people either love or hate, and I I'm sorry, I think I love it. Tamlin is just so energetic, and it seems more like an acrobatic act rather than a dance. I mean, look at this man go! I actually had a chance to meet Russ Tamblin and told him that this was one of my favorite scenes I'd ever seen him in. He told me his knees were killing him by the end of it, but you would never know considering how flawlessly he pulls off some of these moves. Like most people, my favorite part of this film is its climax. However, I don't really want to talk about it because I want you to watch it. But I will say it's suspenseful and intriguing. It subverts a lot of the tropes we associate with westerns and creates a rich, satisfying climax. Again, I feel that Russell Rouse is one of the most underrated writer-directors from this era. He may not be Billy Wilder, but he and this film are both worth remembering.